Welcome to Gut Talk TV, a YouTube channel focused on closing the communication and knowledge gaps in gut health. Please see a disclaimer and press the subscribe button below. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Jake Bigan. And I'm Dr. Yoon An. We are gastroenterologists from Australia. Today we are going to talk about aminosalicylates. Aminosalicylates, or 5-SA, includes medications such as mesalazine, sulfasalazine, osalazine, and balosalazide. These are medications that are used to treat ulcerative colitis. There are many brand names including Asacol, Colozide, Dipentum, Misavant, Pentasa, Paraline, Salafork, and Salazoparin. Your doctor has recommended 5 ASAs to treat your ulcerative colitis. Treatment with 5 ASAs aim to prevent flare-ups of disease, reduce the need to use steroids, improve your well-being by reducing or preventing symptoms including diarrhea, bleeding, and urgency, and they can be used in combination with other IBD medications. In IBD, the immune system is overactive. 5-ASA works by locally reducing and controlling inflammation in your bowel and restoring healthy bowel function. Depending on the location of inflammation in your bowel, you may need to prescribe an either oral 5-ASA medication, which releases and acts as a specific part of your bowel, or rectal 5-ASA, which comes in contact with the end of your large bowel or in your rectum, or sometimes both formulation. These medicines can work quickly, within days, but sometimes takes weeks or months to achieve their full efficacy. Depending on the degree of inflammation, your team may also commence a steroid at the time of initiation of the 5-ASA. Oral 5-ASA comes in tablet form. Many brands of 5-ASA have a special coating around the tablet that allows the medication to be released in correct part of the bell. It is important to not crush or chew the tablet as this will damage the coating. Depending on the brand of the tablet, it may be best taken with food or on an empty stomach. Tablets can generally be taken together at the same time or taken at multiple times a day. Some brands come in granules which are smaller than tablets. Granules are taken by placing them on the tongue and swallowing them with a plenty of liquid without chewing. Some granules can be taken together with soft foods such as yogurt. Rectal 5 ASAs are used where the inflammation is found in the left side of the colon using enema or in the rectum only by using suppositories. Depending on the location of the inflammation in your bowel, an enema or suppository can be used. These are generally best tolerated when administered in the evening. Enemas come in the form or liquid. Enemas use special app applicator that is inserted into your rectum and can deliver medication up into the colon. Suppository are in solid dosage form of the medication that can be inserted into the rectum and dissolve over time. All medications can cause side effects, although not everyone experiences them. You will be monitored for side effects by your team. The more common side effects with 5-ASAs that you may experience include headache, abdominal pain or discomfort, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or loss of appetite. Rare side effects have been described in a few people. These include inflammation of the liver, reduced kidney function, or inflammation of the pancreas called pancreatitis, and some with blood disorders. Mild allergic reactions such as a localized rash or itch may occur. Stop the medication and discuss with your team and or local doctor if this occurs. If you develop a severe allergic reaction, including shortness of breath, chest pain, or swelling of the lips, throat, or face, then stop the medication and seek urgent medical attention. Sulfasalazine may cause a yellow-orange discoloration of bodily fluids, including sweat, tears, and urine. Soft contact lenses may be discolored if worn. This color change is not harmful, but it is part of how your body processes this medicine. In addition, blood counts can rarely be affected by this medication and will be monitored if you are on it. Let your treating team know if you're experiencing side effect or think you are getting an infection. Your IBD team will monitor your response by tracking your symptoms on this medication, as well as they'll be checking your blood tests, stool test, and in some 10 centers, intestinal ultrasound. After six to 12 months of the treatment, your IBD team will likely recommend endoscopy to check for gut healing, as this is an important target for treatment. 
blood tests are generally performed to monitor patients. While on 5 ASAs, with the frequency depending on which type of 5 ASA you are prescribed. Mesalazine, balsalazide, and olsalazine have no effects on fertility. Sulfasalazine does reduce the quantity of male sperm, which returns to normal within three months of stopping the medication. Males who are wishing to conceive should be switched to an alternate type of 5 ASA. Sulfasalazine has no effect on female fertility. It is important that your IBD is well controlled on effective medication before becoming pregnant, so tell your doctor if you are thinking of becoming pregnant or find yourself pregnant. Both oral and rectal forms of mesalazine, balsalazide, and olsalazine are considered safe for use during pregnancy. Sulfasalazine is also safe during pregnancy, but it is recommended women take folic acid supplementation while on this medication as it can reduce folate levels. All five ASAs are secreted into breast milk but are considered safe for use. Infants should be monitored for any intolerance to the small amount with vomiting, diarrhea, or allergic reactions rarely reported with some 5 ASAs. I hope you find this video helpful, but if you have any question, please leave in a comment section below. Thank you very much.